Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 112 of my Let's Play of Spell Plus 3. I'm Autopia and he said he'll join us once he sorts this little thing out, see if this has got a soul on that. We've got made it here and we're going to have a chat with him now. He's got a friend here too, let's see what he has to say. Greetings. Are you... Rick. Rick. Who are they? I'm afraid. Don't oh, worry, yes, Hubert. They are not here to Richard. hurt you. Judging by the sounds of fighting we heard, I take it you took care of those undead. Yes. If so, you have my thanks. They appeared out of nowhere just a couple of days ago and locked us in. They're dead. We're here to ask you some questions about your friend. I figured. So I'm guessing you heard the rumors, right? Yes, this is the Golem Soul. And yes, I am the odd fellow protecting him. But before I tell you anything, promise me that you won't hurt him. I know he might look intimidating, but he's actually oh, quite sensitive. Oh, forward, I'm going to take control and do that. That was weird, he kind of like shoved us forward, but why? Let's try it again. Do it again. Why is it doing that? Oh! Ooh! It's the attacking thing, isn't that? I forgot about it. You know, how you can pause or slow it down depending on what your settings are. What's next? And I was over it, my mouse was here, and it, that's why it did it. That's why I went, because it slowed everything down. Okay. I know he might look imitating, but he's actually quite sensitive. Promise. If he doesn't hurt us, we won't hurt him. If he doesn't hurt us, we won't hurt him. He won't. Trust me, hurting anybody is the last thing on Hubert's mind. So, what do you want to know? You didn't come here to take him away, did you? No. Why didn't you kill the undead yourself? Hubert is a stone golem. Why didn't you kill these undead yourselves if they trapped you? <laughs> kill? Hubert? I told you, he couldn't hurt a fly. He doesn't look it, but in his head, he's just like a child. Okay. Why the name? Why Hubert? It was my grandfather's name. And one day, I simply started calling Hubert that, and it stuck. Did you come to know Hubert? How did you come to know Hubert? I mean, you don't just come up to a golem and start a conversation. Right. You don't. I found him laying half dead just outside this mine. Some creature drained him of his essence, a, okay. a ghost or something. Darkness came and stole my light. It... it hurt. It hurt so bad. Wow. I know, Hubert. But it's over now. For some reason, I immediately noticed that Hubert was... different. In every other situation, I would have simply turned away and alarmed the guard, but I just couldn't. So I went into the city to find a mage. Who? Um, Joseph. His name was Joseph. Hmm. He is not with the Creator's Guild. And this Joseph agreed to help you. Well, he still owed me a favor, so... Yes, I asked him to heal what? Hubert. And even though he told me it was dangerous, he eventually did it. When it was done, he told me to get away as soon as possible, as it might wake up again soon. But just like when I had first seen him there, I simply knew that there was... something in him. Something that made him more than just a construct. Okay. So I waited, and it turned out I was right. You can figure out the rest. I took him into the mine, as the Everlight guards would have attacked him on sight. And here, we became friends. You're down here to protect So you took him into the cave to protect him? Yes. Of course, word eventually got through to the townsfolk. But you're the first to follow up on the rumors. Okay. And before these undead woke up, this place was actually quite peaceful. A bit gloomy, yes, but safe. And that's what matters. How long ago was that? How long ago is it that you found him? Let me think. Almost four moons now. Hmm. How did you become friends? How did you become friends, though? Rick friendly. Rick always friendly. Rick care for me. Okay. Well... Maybe friendship isn't the proper word for it. It's more like I care for it. The way a father cares for a child. Okay. And yes, I know how funny that sounds considering Hubert's size. What makes you different? Hubert, what makes you different from other golems? When did you realize you can think for yourself? I... I don't know. I always had thoughts. Always had ideas, but I 
did not know how to tell people about them. So he's done it at all. After the ghost attacked me and Rick healed me, he taught me how to speak. Let me could teach all of them. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh. I mean, he, he could teach Tor or whatever. Oh, no. how to speak. Hubert is a very good student. He learned how to speak almost fluently in just a couple of months. If only men were half as eager to learn, maybe we wouldn't be in this mess we find ourselves in. Wow. He could also carry the spirit of a person in him. Did you ever think of that? If so, it was the spirit of an infant. As I said, all I did was offer Hubert guidance and, well, love. What do you want to do with What him? are your plans for, Hubert? Neither he nor you can stay in this cave forever. Honestly, yeah. I don't know. Don't you. Don't Hubert him. is such a good lad, and I want him to have a normal, happy life. Normal golem. <laughs> as bizarre as that sounds when talking about a golem. Golem, even. He would love to make friends and... Yes, friends. Come back with us, then. We want to protect him. Will these misters be my new friends? Hubert, what did we say about interrupting other people when they're talking? It, it's rude. And it makes people sad. Do you want me to be sad, Hubert? No, Rick. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Just don't do that again. Anyway, I try not to think about it. And until you showed up and killed those undead, I wasn't even sure we'd ever make it out of that cave again. My friend is on the Hubert. All right, look. My friend here would like to learn more about Hubert's uniqueness. It would be of great scientific value. Would it be possible for us to examine him? I, I don't know. Will it harm him? Golems were created to endure pain. <sighs> what my friend is trying to say is he will do everything he can to keep Hubert comfortable. Yeah. What do you think, Hubert? I... I don't know. I mean, the Joey Payne. Fine. <laughs> if you think it will help us understand Hubert better, then I don't want to be an obstacle. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. And I let us begin. Interesting. You did that. <laughs> Truly interesting. Hubert, I am done. You can rest now. Yeah, maybe it's pause, so to speak. It wasn't bad, okay, God. Rick. It tickled a little, but it didn't hurt. It tickled a little, but it didn't hurt. So, what did you find out? Not much. But let me discuss it with my companion first. Tahar, if you please. Is this about must die? I did it just the kind sure going, Rick. That just is about must die. Him. They're just going to have a talk. They'll come back. Okay, so basically when, he, when he's like, Golems, or Golems, whatever you want to call them. They're a major draw pain. Yeah, but most Golems don't speak. So yeah, they may be due to draw pain, but they could literally be in their minds. And you just don't know they're doing it. I'm sure that popped up then, that quest, something about killing. Oh, it could be that, don't Indus die. Don't Indus. Oh, it could be just that few. I was a little worried then. Mm. Okay, I want an L on. What? What do you want? So, let me be brief. I inspected yeah. Hubert's magical core, and it is yeah. rather unusual. Okay. It's overflowing with magical essence, it's unlike good. anything I've ever seen. My theory is that his remarkable intelligence comes from this irregularity. Unfortunately, okay. I believe that the very same irregularity is also dangerous. Why? The essence within him seems unstable. What it is mean? very likely that it will eventually get out of control and cause an explosion oh. unlike anything this land has ever seen. Dang God. To me, it appears we have two options. We can destroy the golem, or take it back to the guild and try to harness its power with the yeah. chance to stabilize the core and allow it to live. That one, then. I do not think I should make that choice. I consider myself a rational person, but I'm afraid that my fascination with the matter clouds my judgment. The one way you can live. Couldn't we just take him somewhere secluded yeah, and leave him be? Why I'm afraid that's out of the power? question. We just don't know what the long-term effect of this instability would be. He could, for example, become feral and use his incredible power to wipe out a city or two. Killing him is the merciful option if his welfare is your primary concern. How would you harness? Yeah, because that's what I'm worried about. Because you said you could take him, harness his power could make the core stable and allow him to live. Why do you need to harness it to make him stable? Why can't you make him stable? 
What do you mean by harness his power? Well, the possibilities are endless. If we can replicate the structure of its core and stabilize it, it has the potential to change the world. We might even be able to recreate it, thus giving us a power source with the chance to recreate life. Obviously, there is no guarantee these experiments would bear fruit. We would also be risking blowing Everlight to smithereens in the process. Oh. If I had to make a guess, I would say that there is a 40% chance that the Golem will be stabilized and we will be able to harness the core. A 40% chance that it will die in perceived agony. You're gonna die anyway. And a 20% chance of triggering the devastating explosion. So basically, what you're saying is, we leave him where he is, he's gonna blow up, we try and kill him, what's... What's... What's not saying if we try and kill him that we don't set it off by mistake anyway? But we keep in here, 40% chance you can harness it and he can live. What was it? 40% chance he died in agony, wasn't it? And then 20% chance trigger of an explosion. So 60% chance of something super bad happening. <sighs> That's a tough decision. Let me talk to Rick. Of course. I want him to survive. Sure. So? What did you and your friend talk about? Okay, I thought I was going to ask him. Okay, I thought I was going to be asked to explain the situation to him, see what his thoughts on it. So take him with us on. Well. There's no good way to say this. Hubert's magic core okay, is very unusual. It is overflowing with energy, and while this energy is what makes him sentient, it also makes him dangerous. If we let Hubert stay here, the core might eventually become unstable and explode. The only way to save him is to take him to the Creator's Guild, where they can try to control his power. Thing is, it might be a painful experience for Hubert. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. The alternative okay, would be to it, kill okay. him. You... you bloody monster! What?! No! There's no way I'm letting you do this! He's a person, damn it, not some toy for some mages to tinker with! You'll have to kill me no, first! No, I didn't want to kill Rick, anyone! you're outnumbered, and I'm offering you and Hubert a chance. Yes! Don't you see it? You can either die here like a fool, or you can make sure Hubert gets through the entire ordeal together with you. Well... I guess you're right, okay, aren't you? Calm down, calm down. I don't have a chance against you all. But let me say this. If I learn that anything happens to Hubert, I will come and hunt you down, even if it costs my life. Okay, Hubert, come on. it's time to go. We're moving into a new home. I? I'm going to see the outside again? Just how you promised. Yes. Just how I promised. Well, I must say that I'm happy you made that decision. I will go back to the guild now and prepare my things for our journey as discussed. I will see you there. Okay. So, I think what's it's the plan? Choice we had. Can we chat with you anymore? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to push you. Yes, guess we're done here. We'll go out and look for that prodigy boy then. Hopefully, we don't blow this whole place up and, and he doesn't die an agonizing death. Yes, he has to live. Want. That's the reason I picked that. All fingers crossed. Forty percent chance I'll of doing it. It's better than zero and dying now, isn't it? That way. All right. Uh, head back here. What's the way out? There it is. That's the way out. Okay, so hopefully they're heading here now. Yes. Hmm? Just give the word. Uh, oh, they're not to get you. Yes. Or not. What's yes. happening? Why are you hurt? Mm hmm. Guys? Understood. Go in. Guys, what's happening? Apparently we're fighting. Yes, 
done. Yes. Hello everyone, come on. Oh, sure. nice. Dude, who left the gold behind? Play that. It's a girl young them young does that. I'll do what's required. There we go. Mm-hmm. Who else have to pick up now? Okay, back up here, people. Back up here. And I think it's time to end this episode too, actually, as we leave. So, next episode, we'll look for the Prodigy and that. Um, so please like and subscribe and that good stuff as we leave this place. And if you haven't already, subscribe and share this video. You got it. Thank you very much and see you next week. If you want to put any comments, you can. I've been having to help you like normal. Bye, everybody.